brother check and see if we on. Gotcha. Alright, come. Alright, Shalom, brothers. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you Akim around the world who are preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity and uh, with charity, you know. And uh, the spirit on us, man, we've been sitting up, you know, it's uh, 1 11 in the morning here in the Midwest in Chicago. And um, we were just sitting here talking in the spirit, man, and, you know, and uh, we were just thinking of uh, how important prayer is, man. It is the most important thing in this thing of ours, as the, uh, as the apostles always tell us. So um, let's start off with um, Sirach. Let's get uh, Sirach 7 and 10. Okay. Uh, this is Sirach. Uh, uh, somebody seven. get uh, James 1 and 5. In verse 10, be not, be not faint hearted when thou makest thy prayer and neglect not the giving all. Say that again. Hey, talk about it. Hey, tell me right, Say that again, bro. This is uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 7, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Be not faint hearted when thou makest thy prayer. Right, now be not faint hearted when thou makest thy prayer. Why? Can somebody get James 1 and 5? You know, can somebody get Hebrews uh, uh, 11 and 6, Bible for sure. James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of your house. Mm -hmm. They give it to all men liberally. Go ahead. And upbraideth not. And upbraideth not. Read. And it shall be given him. Keep going. But let him ask in faith. But let him ask in faith. Can somebody get Hebrews 11 and uh, 6? Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible. Speak up, brother. Read that again. Uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. So without faith, it is impossible to please the Most High. Read. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, mm -hmm. and that he is rewarder of, of them that diligently ask seek him. Right. So you must believe that he is, and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Man. Right? Now can you jump back to that... Uh, that James brother, read that James again. It's James 1 and 6. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea. Right, with nothing wavering. Right? Because he that waves is blown blown with the sea, man. Go ahead. Driven with the wind and tops. Keep going. For let for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Read that again. For let not that man think. That he shall receive anything of the Lord. Right. So if you waver in, in your prayer, let not that man think he will receive anything. You ain't gonna get nothing, man. Because you ain't praying in faith. You know? The scripture says, uh, uh then Yahweh shall say, um, you 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 as um uh men, you know, know how to give your your sons good things, right? How much more are our, our father in heaven? You know, your son asks you bread, will you give him a stone? You know that's what Yahweh Shah was saying, and, and when he was, when he was saying what he was saying. Right, you gotta believe in your faith. You gotta believe that the Lord is gonna give you what you ask. That's right. Mm -hmm. Scripture said, "Ask of me, and I will give you." Right, kind. Huh. That's it on that James, brother. Yeah. All right, go back to that uh, Sirach, bro. All right, this is the book of Sir, uh, Sirach, uh, chapter seven, uh, verse uh, ten. Be not faint-hearted when thou makest thy prayer. See, be not faint-hearted. Don't waver. Because James just said that you ain't going to receive nothing. Right? Go ahead. And and neglect not to give alms. Mm -hmm. Neglect not to give alms. So the point is, though, but be not faint-hearted in thy prayer. Can a brother get James 5 and 16? Somebody get 1 Peter 3 and 12. Go ahead, brother. Speak up, too. Y'all remember to speak up. We got these fans going. This first Peter chapter three verse twelve. Mm -hmm. For the eyes of Yahweh are over the righteous. That's right. And his ears are open unto their prayers. Right. So Sirach, uh, Sirach two and ten. Can a brother grab that real fast? Sirach two and ten. Yeah. If I can get there fast, yeah. I'll just get it. Uh, it's, uh, Sirach two and ten. Mm -hmm. Look at the generations of old mm -hmm. and see that every did ever any 
trust in the Lord and was confounded? Mm -hmm. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right. So basically, shit, all the answers to that is nobody, man. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh has covered and kept and protected all his servants, man. And, it, and, and it's written. We got the records in the, uh, in the scriptures. You know, and we're gonna get us a matter of fact, let's get into that. Let's get a, a couple of these um uh, uh uh instances, man, you know, situations that different prophets was in. Uh somebody grab uh let's get Tobit 13 and 1. Somebody grab Baruch, the second chapter, 14 verse. It's more go ahead, bro. Um Back to uh, Second Peter, now First Peter, chapter chapter uh, three, verse twelve. It says, "But the face of Yahweh is against them that believe." That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Somebody got that? Told it. Thirteen one. Then Tobit wrote a prayer. Of rejoicing mm -hmm. and said blessed be Yahweh that liveth forever All right in these different prayers man we know a uh, Tobit prayer was heard when he when he prayed to the most huh? you know even um to Tobias wife prayer was heard go ahead brother and blessed be his kingdom keep going for he do scorn and have mercy All right so this is Tobit's prayer man go ahead brother he leadeth down to hell and mercy I mean, like, and bring it up again neither is there is there any that can avoid his hand mm -hmm. confess him before the gentiles ye children of israel right with that's plain confess him before the gentiles which let, letting us know we, we we everywhere you know do it bro for he has scattered us among them that's plain there declare his greatness and extol him before all the living, for he is our Lord, and he is the power of our Father forever. Mm -hmm. and, and he will score us for our iniquities, and will have mercy again. Right, you know, and this is Tobit uh, making his prayer of rejoicing, man. You know, this says in, in verse 5, is a heavy one. He will score us for our iniquity, which is what we're going through now. And we'll have mercy on us again, man. You know, us even coming back being allowed to know who we are, right? Go ahead, brother. It will gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us. Go ahead. If you turn to him with And that's a cut right there, and will gather us out of all the nations. You know, goes back to Revelation the seventh chapter, right? Go ahead, bro. If you turn to him with your whole heart. And with your whole mind and deal of rightly before him, then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. Therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth. <laughs> and praise the Lord of might and extol the, the everlasting king. Mm -hmm. In the land of my captivity do I praise him. And declare his might and, and, and majesty to a sinful nation. O ye sinners, turn and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? All right. So, you know, let's continue in this prayer, you know, as a, a, a Tobit prayed. Can a brother grab, did we read that James 5? Mm -hmm. right. Can the brother hold Sirach 35, verse 16? James 5 and 16. Uh, this is James 5 and 16. Confess your faults one to another mm -hmm. and pray one for another. And pray one for another. Go ahead. That ye may be healed. 
the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man abides much. Read the last part again. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man abides much. Abides much, man. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, man. You know, uh, 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 availeth much. Continual in prayer. Because uh, I believe it's in Proverbs where it says, um, uh, he that desp uh, despises the good and loveth the evil, even his prayer is an abomination. Roughly paraphrasing, you know. So you go ahead with that, Sirach, brother. Somebody gets Sirach 21 and 5. Another brother gets Sirach 39 and 5. It's uh, Sirach 35 and 16. He that serves Yahweh shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. Right, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. If you're serving Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, you know, and if you're serving Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, in faith, which faith was counted to Abraham for righteousness, so if we serving Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, in faith, you know, the uh, effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much, then our prayers would be heard. Go ahead, brother. The prayer of the humble pierceth the cloud. The prayer of the humble pierceth the cloud. Read. Until it come near nigh, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the most high Yahweh shall behold to judge righteously mm -hmm. and execute judgment. Right. You will not depart from what? In prayer. Continue, continually praying for the downfall. Of this fucking wicked ass kingdom, man, this queendom, Salaki, you know, this is a prayer to get delivered out this this wicked ass flesh, man. Not being able uh, uh, to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh in a hundred percent righteousness, you know. What uh, walking down the street without seeing a goddamn fag, man. See something walking down the street, nice shape. You like, oh, look at this, and it's a fucking man, man. Let's pray to get the fuck out this place, man. Pray that the Lord keep us in this thing. Pray to keep stay humble. Go ahead, brother. Next scripture, Sirach twenty-one. Speak up, bro. Sirach twenty-one, and five. Done. This is Sirach twenty-one and five. A prayer out of a poor man now. Mm -hmm. A prayer out of a poor man's mouth. A prayer out of a poor man's mouth. Revelation 2 and 9 says, I know thy poverty, you know, but thou art rich, right? Rich in what? In faith, rich in his knowledge. We have the promises, the covenants, the kingdom to come, right? Go ahead, bro. Reaches to the ears of the house. Reaches to the ears of the most high, you know? And his judgment <laughs> come excuse me. Right. And his judgment coming speedily. I was in on that, you know. But the brother, uh, um, DLB12 tries Baltimore said, walking down the street without seeing Esau fake smiles, man. Kind of, you know. Can't wait to see these motherfuckers in chains as they supposed to be, man. Seeing these proud motherfuckers walk down the street, man. Somebody grab that Sirach 39, verse 5 and 6. Uh, this is uh, this is the Sirach 39. This is Sirach 39, verse 5. He will give his heart to resort early to the Lord that made him and will pray before the Most High. Read that again. This is Sirach 39, verse 5. He will give his heart to resort early to the, to the Lord that made him. Mm -hmm. It will pray Give his heart early, you know, his mind. It will, it will pray before the Most High. And will pray before the Most High. And do what? It will open his mouth in prayer mm -hmm. and make supplication for his sins. And make supplication for our sins, man. You know, we, we, we ask and pray the Yahweh Hashem Yashah each and every day to forgive us. You know, continually, you know, multiple times a day. You know, so that's the most important thing is to stay continual in prayer, right? That's uh, that's verse seven. Yeah, those, those verses, five. I mean, yeah, that was okay. Read six. It's like, All right. when the great Lord will, he he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. Mm -hmm. He shall pour out wise sentence. 
and give thanks unto the Lord in her prayers. And give thanks to y'all by showing y'all shine our prayers, which I'm pretty sure she, we all do, right? You know, I hope we do. Uh, we wake up, you know, a lot of y'all be showing y'all shine for another day, you know. Even when we drive, you know, every little thing we, we do, we gotta, you know, always send our prayers, man. That's why, that's why you always got time to be praying. Like, that's a habit we gotta get into, man. Uh, that, that you should make that a habit. And we got that on deck. No, go ahead, brother. First Thessalonians 5 and 17. Pray without ceasing. And, and sweet and straight to the point, you know. Pray without ceasing. Did somebody get um Sirach 3617? Somebody grab a root two fourteen. Uh, this is Sirach three six and seventeen. Oh Lord, hear the prayer of thy servant, according to the blessing of Aaron over thy people, that that all they which dwell upon the earth may know that thou art the Lord, the eternal power. All right now, these examples of the prayers, you know, that our, our righteous forefathers made. Read that again. Oh Lord. Hear the prayer of thy servant, according to the blessing of Aaron over thy people, that all that which dwell upon the earth may know the, that thou art the Lord, thy internal power. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody got that Baruch 2.14? Yeah, this is uh, Baruch 2.14. Uh, this is Baruch 2.14. Hear our prayers, O Yahweh, and our petitions, and deliver us for thy own sake. And give us favor in the sight of them which have led us away. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Jeremiah 33 and 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. For, the, for thus saith the Lord, the, the power of Israel concerning the houses of the city, and concerning the houses of King of Judah, which are which are thrown down by the mountains and by the sword. Huh, prayer, Jeremiah. I got uh second Ezra is eight and twenty-four. It says, Oh, hear the prayer of thy servant, and give ear to the petition of thy creature. For while I live, I will speak, and so long as I have understanding, I will answer. Oh, look not upon the sins of thy people, but on them which serve thee in truth. Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, but desire of those that keep thy testimonies in afflictions. Right? So so Ezra is praying to the Lord, like, man, hey, hey, fuck the wickedness of these motherfuckers, but look on the righteous, you know. Fuck the heathen, but hey, hey, let's 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 desire to keep those that keep the testimonies in affliction, right? Verse 28, think not upon those that have walked vainly before thee, which the word vain means faith, right? But remember them which according to thy will have known thy fear. Let it not be thy will to destroy them which have lived like beasts, but look upon them that have clearly taught thy law. So, you know, Edward's praying that uh, to continue uh, with the righteous, that the Most High keep his eyes and protect the righteous. Take thou no indignation at them which are deemed worse than beasts, but love them that always put their trust in thy righteousness and glory right for we our fathers do language of such diseases but because of us sinners thou shalt be called merciful you know and when you read down basically the most high um acknowledge that prayer man you know his eyes always on the right can a brother get the uh, baruch 214 and grab three and four Oh, you just read that? Read it again, bro. Uh, Baruch 2 and 14. Hear a prayer for Yahweh and our petitions, and deliver us from their own sake, and give us favor in the sight of them which have led us away. Kai, Kai, yeah. It's a lot of you, brother. You did just read. And brother, uh, jump to 3 and 4, bro. This is uh, Baruch 3 and 4. O Yahweh Almighty, thou power of Israel, hear not the prayers of 
of the dead Israelites mm -hmm. and of the children which had sinned before thee, and not and now hearken. Which goes back to Revelation when it says uh, the spirits complain continually to the Most High. You know when 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 shall they avenge our, our brothers that's upon the earth? But go ahead, brother. And now hearken unto the voice of the this is uh which had sinned before before thee, and now hearken unto the voice of their power, for the which cost these plays be unto it. Mm -hmm. And the brother um second chronicles one and eight, bro. First Kings eight and twenty eight. Somebody grab eight Acts twelve and five. Uh, this is the book of uh, the second uh, the book of Second Chronicles uh, one and eight. Uh, we we'll start from seven. Uh, the first one, uh, Second Chronicles one and seven. And that night did Yahweh appear unto Solomon and said unto him, "As what well, I should give thee." And Solomon said unto Yahweh, "Thou hast showed me great mercy. Thou hast showed great mercy unto David, my father." Has made each region in his and his stead, and there may be rain in his stead. Nine, thou, o Lord, power, let thy promises unto David, my father, be established, for thou hast made me king over thy people, and the dust of the earth, and the multitude. Ten, give me now wisdom and knowledge mm -hmm. that I may go out, which go. goes back to James 1 and 5. He that lacketh wisdom. Let him pray to the Most High to give it liberally, you know. So King Solomon, his, his prayer, well, it's going to explain it. Go ahead, brother. Um, verse ten: Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people, for whom you can judge the, this thy people that is so great. Mm -hmm. And these all prayers that was answered, man. You know, every every prayer we read is is is, 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 is has been answered or will be answered. Go ahead. Verse 11. And Yahweh said unto Solomon, Because this was in thy heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, mm -hmm. nor the life of thy enemies, neither yet has asked a long life, but has asked wisdom and, wisdom and knowledge for thy soul, that thou mayest judge my people over whom I have made thee king. Verse 12. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee. Right, and that was King Solomon, you know, which was Yahweh Shai, praying in the spirit for wisdom, man. And the Lord added all them things unto him, which is what Yahweh Shai actually said in Matthew 6, um, verse 19. It says, Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, right? So don't don't put your mind on these earthly things, man. On some fucking earthly bullshit, right? But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, meaning this knowledge. You know, Solomon prayed for wisdom, as as we should pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, for patience, for endurance. You know, it says, um, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moss nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. There will your mind will be, man. You know, always in the heavens, man. As the scripture says, our conversation is always in the heavens. Which means our conduct, but our actual conversation as well. I'm going to jump down to uh, verse 33 in Matthew 6. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness. And how you do that? Through these scriptures. Right? It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of the heavenly father and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You know, which goes back to James 1. If anyone lacketh wisdom, so you pray to the most high, you know, for the understanding of these scriptures as we read and as we continue, that he continue to reveal more and more secrets unto us. Um, can a brother grab, uh, First Kings eight twenty eight Bible for shot in Acts twelve. Uh, first Kings eight and twenty eight. Yet have thou respect unto the prayer of thy servant, and to and to supplication, O Yahweh my power, to hearken unto the cry and to the prayer which thy servant prayed before thee today. 
You want that thine eyes may be open toward this house night and day, mm -hmm. even toward the place of which thou hast said. Right, you know. So King Solomon, <laughs> which is <laughs> Yahweh Shai, once again, you know, saying, uh, uh once we turn and face uh, uh, towards the temple and pray, you know, hey, hey, may the Most High hear our prayers, man. Uh, which thou hast said, my name shall be my name shall be there, that thou mayest hearken unto the prayer which thy servant shall make toward this place. Uh, uh. Brother grab Acts 12. 21. Verse 5, bro. Acts 12 and 5. Somebody grab the pair of Manasseh and um and if I Peter therefore was kept in prison. Mm-hmm. For prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto Yahweh for him, and when the rod would have brought him right. forth, Go ahead. the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shine in the prison hold on so so prayer was made continually for peter and the lord sent an angel go ahead brother and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell off from his hands and the angel said unto him gird thyself and bind and bind on thy sand and, and so he did and he said unto him, Cast thy garment about about thee and follow me. And he went out and followed him. And was not that it was it was the truth which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second war, they came unto the, the iron gate that leadeth unto the kitchen city. Which opened to them of his own. That's accord. it. That's it, brother. <laughs> That's beautiful. I got one in um Second Maccabees fifteen, and I'm gonna start at twenty-two. It says, Therefore, his prayer, he said after this manner, O Lord, thou didst send thy angel in the time of uh Hezekiah, king of Judah, and did slay in the host of Sennacherib and hundred four score and five thousand. Wherefore now also, O Lord of heaven, send a good angel before us for a fear and dread unto them. And through the might of thy arm, let those be stricken with terror that come against thy holy people to blaspheme. And he ended thus. Then the Canaan and they that were with him came forward with trumpets and songs. But Judas and his company encountered the enemies with an invocation and prayer. So that fighting with their hands, and praying unto the Most High with their hearts, they slew no less than thirty and five thousand men. For though the, for through the appearance of the Most High, they were greatly cheered, you know. And the, and that's the one I wasn't looking for, but it's beautiful because that hit it right on the head. But I was looking for the one where an uh, actual angel came on a horse and actually led the way for Judas and them, man, you know. But um, we got the prayer, Manasseh, brother. The uh, Manasseh. This is a uh, Oh Yahweh, Almighty Power of our Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of their uh, righteous seed, who has made heaven and earth with all the ordinances thereof, mm -hmm. who has bowed the sea by the word of the commandment, who has shut up the deep and sealed it by the terrible and glorious name, whom all men fear. And tremble before thy power, for the majesty of thy glory cannot be borne, and thy angry threatening toward sinners is unportable. But thy merciful promise is unmeasurable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what merciful promise is that, man? The promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. The promise of the kingdom, man. You know, the promise of never sinning again, man. Having that fleshly heart. Lord, bro. And unsearchable. For thou art the most high Lord of great compassion, long suffering, very merciful, and repentance 
of the evils of men. Thou, O Lord, according to thy great goodness, has promised repentance and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee, mm. and of thy infinite mercy has appointed repentance unto sinners, that they may be saved, that they may be saved. Thou therefore, O Lord, that are the power of the just, has not appointed repentance, has, has not appointed repentance to the just, as to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, which have not sinned against thee. But thou hast appointed repentance unto me that am a sinner. Right. Because Manasseh, man, he sacrificed his son, man. Hey, he did a lot of wicked shit, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. For I have sinned above the number of the sands of the sea. My transgressions, O oh Lord, are multiplied. My transgressions are multiplied. And I am not worthy to behold and see that the height of heaven. Right, amen. And, and it's been through the spirit shit. The King Manasseh, man, is, is, is symbolic of us as a whole going off, man. Us in this truth now, man. You know? All the wicked shit we did, man. Hey, shit. Just like just like uh uh, uh Manasseh said, man. He have sinned above the sand of the sea. Shit, he, each one of us can say that, man. So 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 the hey the mercy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is great, man. Huh? Yeah, in uh first John. That's right. This is uh and I am not worthy to behold and see the height of heaven for the multitude of my iniquity. I am bowed down with many iron bands, that I cannot lift my, my head, neither have any release. For I have provoked thy wrath and done evil before thee. I did not I did not thy will, neither kept I thy commandments. I have set up abominations and have multiplied offenses. Now, therefore, I bow the knee of my heart, beseeching thee of grace. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my iniquity. Wherefore, I humbly beseech thee, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me, and destroy me not with my iniquity. Right, which is our prayer, man. <laughs> it says, wherefore, I humbly beseech thee, as do us, man, you know? He said, uh, uh, forgive me, O Lord, forgive me. Salakia. Y'all about to show me how shy. Salakia. Go ahead, brother. He says, uh, and destroy me not with thy, with my iniquity. Be not angry with me forever. By, by serving evil for me. Neither, neither condemn me into the lower parts of the earth. For thou art the power, even the power of them that repent. Even the power of them that repent. <laughs> so that's why two thirds he said, hey, "You are not my people, man. All Israel is not of Israel, because he's the power of those that repent, man." Go ahead, brother. And in me thou will show all thy goodness, for thou will save, for thou will save me. That am I unworthy. Right. So it says, "And in me thou will show all thy goodness." How was that? He just explained it. For thou wilt save me that I am unworthy, man. That shows the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know? Khan, uh, matter of fact, somebody get that. Psalms, the 32nd uh, chapter. Khan, uh, Salachia means uh, uh, forgive me. Salach means forgive, and when you put the Yah, at the end, it makes it me or mine. Go ahead, brother. Psalm 32nd chapter. That is uh, Psalms 30, 32 and uh, verse 1. This is he whose transgression is forgiven, mm -hmm. whose sin is covered. Whose sin is covered. By who? By what? By the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Yahweh Shah. And, and, and through that sacrifice, man, he is worthy to be praised, man, and worship, man, to give all honor and glory to. 
blessed, verse 2, Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and, and in whose spirit there is no guilt. No God, which goes God. back to uh, Revelation, Flocky, the 14th chapter. You know? It, it means that too, what? It means excuse me or, or forgive me. You know, it depends on the, the context of how you use it. But uh, go go back to um, Manasseh, bro. But that will save me that I that am unworthy, according to thy great mercy. Therefore, I will praise thee forever, all the days of my life. <laughs> For all the the powers of the heaven to praise thee, and and thine is the glory forever and ever. Come yah to what man, you know. That was that was a beautiful prayer. So, um, brother, grab uh, Matthew twenty one twenty one. Brother, grab Acts two and forty two, and then Acts six and four. This uh, it's Matthew twenty one verse twenty one. Yeah, I was shy, answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you. Ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, mm -hmm. it shall be done. That's right, go ahead. And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer is the what? Believing, ye shall receive. Believing, all things that you should act in prayer, believing, you shall what? Receive. You shall receive. You know, so we must stay constant in prayer, man. Continually pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to get us out of this fucking wicked ass place, to destroy this fucking society, man, and all these fucking heathen, man. Especially the so called white man, man. Fucking Esau, eat him, man. Brother, grab uh, Acts two forty two. And Acts six and four. This is uh, Acts two and uh, forty two. Mm -hmm. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles. Start up, start up, so we can know who they is. Just go up a verse. This is, uh, verse forty one. Then they that gladly received his word mm -hmm. were baptized so then they that gladly received the word were baptized go ahead and the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls go ahead and they continued steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer and in prayers stay continued and steadfast in the doctrine in the breaking of bread and in prayer Acts 6 and 4. This is Acts 6 and 4. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer. We will do what? Give ourselves continually to prayer. Right. You know, starts first and foremost with, with, with me and each one of us in here, man. You know, stay continually in prayer and all things. Go ahead, brother. Into the ministry of the word. Into the ministering of the word. Stay abounding in his in his work because we had class just a couple hours ago, you know, and and, and the vibration that was that was on, going on in class is, is doing his work, man. Stay abounding in his work. Yahweh Shah said that um blesses that man when he when he comes back and finds so doing, man. He said to occupy till he come. So we must must uh, abound in his work, as the scripture says. Um. Somebody get Romans 12 and 10. This is uh, Romans 12 and 10. Be kindly affection one to another with brotherly love and in honor from one another. Mm -hmm. No slothful in business, fervor in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope. Hey, 
in tribulation, patient, patient in tribulation, continually instant in prayer. Continually instant in prayer, you know. Stay constant. You know, the brother from Baltimore says, stay doing things the Lord delight in. Continually, man. Um, Ephesians 1 15. Somebody get um I think it's Philippians 4 and 6. I got one too. Go ahead, brother. This is uh and any scriptures y'all got, you know. Philippians 4 and uh Continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving mm. with all praying also for us that the hollow will open unto us a door of, of, of utterance to, to speak the mystery of my <laughs> bro. That's beautiful. Bro, read that again, brother. Continue in prayer and watch in the same with, with thanksgiving mm -hmm. with all. Praying also for us that the hour praying open. also that the most high will open what will open unto us a door of uttering mm. to speak the mystery of Mashiach. To speak the mystery. <laughs> that was a beautiful scripture. Yeah, the great gift we give us, man. Nobody else in this world has this true book book of Lord, man. So this is a gift, man. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta ask for it, man. Sorry, brother Ephesians, you got Ephesians 1 15. Uh, this is the book of Ephesians 1 15. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in, in, the, in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and love unto all the saints, mm -hmm. cease now to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Making mention of you in my prayers, since I heard of the faith that you had in, in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Hey, what scripture was that you read, brothers? Colossians, what? 4 and 2. It was Colossians 4 and 2, bro. Brother from Baltimore, Colossians 4 and 2. Um, brother got Philippians 4 and 6. This is uh, Philippians 4 and 6. Mm -hmm. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer, man. Right? And supplication with thanksgiving may your request be made known out. Right, so let your request be made known, man. You know, and uh, and King Solomon gave the example: ask for spiritual things, man. You know, let's ask for more character. Let's ask for more integrity. You know, let's ask for more patience, more faith, more endurance, a uh, uh, more brotherly love, more more wisdom. You know, strength, more strength. More passion, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can a uh, brother grab Acts the 10th chapter, the fourth verse? This is uh, Acts 10 and 4. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, That prayers and that alms are come up for memorial. So 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 Cornelius prayers was heard. So out of all those scriptures we read about your righteous man and hear our prayers, you know what I'm saying? So the Lord hearing prayers of heathens now? Because out of all those scriptures we read, they didn't mention not a heathen, you know. Can a brother grab? Oh, shit, we, we grabbed all these. I have, uh, I have some. Go ahead, brother. This is uh. Somebody grab Psalms 51. This is Mark chapter 14, verse 38. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Mm. The spirit, the spirit is truly, is truly, truly is ready. What's, what what, what scripture is that, brother? Mark 14 and 38. Mark 14 and 38. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter in temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. So don't be giving in to what the flesh wants, man. Put off that old man and go in the spirit, man. 
put that put your put your flesh on subjection, man. To continue in the faith, man. What right? I looked up that word watch ye, Mark 14 38. And the Greek is Gregor Gregorio. It says to watch, metaphorically give strict attention to, <laughs> to be active, to take heed lest through remission and indol in indolence some destructive calamity suddenly overtake one. You know? So, like you said, you stay constant. You know, uh, 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 keep your flesh under subjection. Galatians says, "Walk ye in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh." You know, stay stay abounding in this work, as the brother said. Continue to do the things that delight in the Most High. You know, kill this flesh daily, as Paul said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bro. Right, this Psalms fifty one to one. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Not all my not all my transgressions. Wash me through thoroughly. Can you read that again? Start over from the top. Uh, this is Psalm 51 and 1. Have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according mm -hmm. to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Not all my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sin. That's a prayer King David made, man. And as the brother said, uh, Apostle uh, Rachar constantly stresses this and shit. I'm a witness to that. You know, Apostle Rachar, the, uh, the couple times he came out here and, and, and I was fortunate enough to meet the man, he stressed Psalms 51 as a prayer, man. Each night, if possible, you know. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thy own, have I sinned and done this evil in the sight that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity and sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, but in the hidden parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, yes, and I shall be clean. Mm -hmm. Wash me, and I shall be wither than snow. Whiter than snow. And how, how do you do that? By the washing of the word, man. Psalms 119, how can a young, uh, how can a man cleanse his way? By taking heed to the word of the most high you know go ahead bro make me to hear joy and gladness that that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice uh -huh. hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities create in me a clean heart only how i renew my right spirit within me mm -hmm. cast me not away from thy presence cast me not away from thy presence should be our prayer man to constantly pray that the most high keeps us in this thing man allow us to endure into the end you know right the, the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much as the scripture says Swap you, brother go ahead i was gonna say that word law is to ask so when you pray you ask the most high to give you something man that's right go ahead brother Go ahead, Tell us what you Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Mm -hmm. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and hold up, uh, and hold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressions thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Mm -hmm. Deliver me from thy guiltiness. O Yahweh, thou, thou power of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thy, thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praises. Mm -hmm. For thou desirest thou sacrifice, also that I, I give it. Thou delightest not in the burnt offerings. The sacrifice of the Hawaii broken spirit, broken and 
and they can treat hard and try they try hard only how thou will not despise the good and thy good pleasures on Zion build out the walls of Jerusalem and that's what's going on right now man building the walls of Jerusalem building that tabernacle of David that, that, that we're fortunate enough Yahweh Shami Asharath is to be a part of, you know. On that on that first that first round trip, that first go round. Go ahead, bro. Then shall thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with bread offerings and whole burn of of bread offerings, then shall they offer bullets upon thy altar. Right. Because in Sirach it tells you Damn, that's a, that's a Yapa scripture too. The brother just posted Mark 11 and 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Right? It goes back to when we first started, Hebrews 11 and 6. You know, without faith this is impossible. James 1 and 5 speaks about wavering. You know, if, if, if you do waver, you know, let him know that he will receive nothing. Brother GMS Yaiqua posted Psalms 86 and 11. Teach me thy way, O Yahweh. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. You know? And, and, and those are constant prayers that we should continually be asking. I know the brother had posted uh, uh, to keep me from uh, secret sins. You know? Brother had posted that earlier. To, to constantly uh, allow us to be in the spirit. I had a scripture in Sirach. Right, can the brother grab Sirach 35? I got one too. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Psalms 145 and 18. Um, the Lord is not unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. Mm. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear he them. will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. Damn, go ahead. He also will have will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord, the Lord could preserve all of them that love him, but all the wicked will, will be destroyed. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Man, that was beautiful, brother. That was good. Go ahead, brother. Brother, grab that Sirach. Start at the top. That is uh, Sirach 35 and 1. He that keeps the law that brings the offerings enough. Mm -hmm. he that so, so, so at the top of my book, he says these are sacrifices pleasing unto the Most High. You know? And uh, uh, Psalms 51, it just said that uh, what sac sacrifices that pleases the Most High is a contrite spirit, you know. But go ahead, brother. He that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. So he that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. Go ahead. He that taketh heed to the commandments offereth the peace offering. So he that taketh heed to the commandments, he's just like him offering a peace offering, right? Go ahead. He that requireth a good turn offering. Fine flower. So he that requited the good turn, meaning pay, pay back a brother a good thing, a good thing, right? Say you went and picked up a brother at at, 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 at fucking four five in the morning, man. You know that's paying back a good turn, right? And he that giveth alms sacrifices praise. And he that giveth alms sacrifices praise, which the scripture says alms uh delivereth from from all sins, as it says in Tobit. Go ahead, brother. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord. To depart from wickedness is what's pleasing to y'all about Shami Go ahead. And to forsake unrighteousness is an appropriation. And, and, and to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation, which means an appeasing of wrath. Thou shalt not appear empty before the Lord. Father, these things are to be done because of the, of the commandments. The offering of the righteous maketh the altar fat, and the sweet savor thereof it is better. It is 
before the Most High. Mm -hmm. The sacrifice of a just man is acceptable, and and the memorial of the rope shall never be forgotten. Give the Lord. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's that's it. The sacrifices of a just man is acceptable, and the memorial thereof shall never be forgotten. You know, you brothers got any more scriptures? Okay, cool. Uh, well, two and twelve. Therefore, also now, said Yahweh, turn ye even to me with all your heart, mm -hmm. and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. Yep. And rend your heart and not your garments. Right. You know, it's to return unto the Lord with fasting too. <laughs> That's a beautiful scripture. With, 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 with fasting as well. You know? Um, I mean, that, that's a good to me because you know, I feel like I got to uh, fast more and more. But well, you know, when you, when you fast and when speak you pray, up, brother. When you, when you fast and when you pray, you know, that, that's showing the Lord that you really want whatever it is that you're praying for. And if you're in the truth, whatever it is that, you, that you're praying for, for the most part, should be spiritual. You know, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, you know, patience, diligence, you know, better judgment, you know, all that. Spiritual things like Solomon. Go ahead, Kawhi. So, you know, um, this is Psalms chapter 2, verse 8. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So, if we ask the Lord and we don't waver, and what we ask him when we truly believe that he gonna give it to us, then that means that he gonna give it to us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, well, I guess we ended on this on this scripture right here. This is uh Tobit um twelve and verse eight. It says, Prayer is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. For alms doth deliver from death and shall purge away all sins. Those that exercise alms in righteousness shall be filled with life. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. You know? So, man, with that, man, we hope your brothers were encouraged, you know. Uplift. Oh, okay, go ahead, brother. This is uh, Matthew 17 and uh, 20. I'm just going to get to the point. This is, uh, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence yonder, hence yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible to you. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. And fasting. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Matthew's, it's the same, same thing. Matthew's 26 and 41. It says, Watch and pray that ye enter not in temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So you know, for all this stuff that's going on, it should be a faith booster, man. We to the, we at the end of this. Hey, man. we at the end of this thing, baby. You know what I'm saying? You should be asking the Lord for more faith, more more strength, continuous, enduring to the end. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to sit up here and get weak and faint. You don't want to be a faint-hearted ass nigga like these two thirds that's out here, man. They don't believe at all, man. Every time you come across a two thirds, you should have more faith that. You have a better chance that you're gonna make it, man. Her mouth, man. That, that's right. She, when, when that she comes, our faith is really gonna be tested. Like when we start seeing people dying, faith, somebody grab a. Uh, oh, he's ready to close out, man. Hey, somebody grab Isaiah 65. Yeah, when you see you know, a lot of motherfuckers dying and rumors, great, you know, shit, you know, shit happening next door to you. No, that that's when uh, uh, your faith is really going to put to the test. You know, you're, uh, it, and uh, if you actually were praying, you know, for spiritual things, for for, for you know, uh, Jacob's trouble, 
Isaiah 65, verse 12. No, it started verse 12. It's Isaiah 65, verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Which is these two thirds that, that you, you, you so conveniently spoke on, right? Go ahead. Because when I called, ye did, did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear. Which goes back to Proverbs, the first chapter, right? Go ahead. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus said how coward, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hung hungry. And I'll stop right there. Somebody grab Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. And we speak up, brother. Speak up. Speak up. We read that over. It's uh, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So, whatsoever was written before was written for our learning, right? Go ahead. That we, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right. So that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Hope in what? The promises that the Lord gave us, right? So read that Isaiah 65, that, that, that part again about my servant shall eat. Who was reading? It was, uh, it was back in that, um, Verse 13, brother. Isaiah 65. All right, Isaiah. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said Yahweh Power, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Stop right there. So the Lord said, My servant shall eat. So there should be an example of the Lord feeding his servant, right? Mm -hmm. of, of, of a man having faith in what the Lord said would happen. This is uh, 1 Kings 17. I'm going to start at the top. It says, And Elisha the Tishbite, who who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord, power of Israel, liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Can somebody get James? Salah, yeah. James. James. I get y'all to the reverse in a half second. Uh, 17. Five and 17. Swap. This is James. Speak up, brother. This is James 5 and 17. Elias was a man subject to life, passion, as we are. Mm -hmm. Baby, they, Elijah was in the flesh just like we was in the flesh. Go ahead. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months so that's an example of this right here it just says uh, first king 17 verse 1 says in elijah the tisbite who was the inhabitants of gilead sent unto ahab as jehovah by hashem Shai, power of israel liveth before whom i stand there shall not be dew nor rain these years but according to my word right so james just wrote of that and we just read of it right keep going in the uh, kings brother mm -hmm. verse two kings who was reading who was reading first Kings? first king 17 oh was i reading it it's a lot here it's a lot here brother <laughs> Verse 2, it says, And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward. It says, And hide thyself by the brook Sharif, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt by the brook of Sharif, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening, and he drank of the brook. So that's an example of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah feeding his, uh, uh, his servants, as it said in Isaiah, right? So, uh, let's go back to Isaiah. Uh, 
Isaiah uh, 65, verse 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Power, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Who shall be hungry, man? You you fucking uh two thirds, man. Right? Go ahead. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. <laughs> Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. This is Go ahead. Uh, verse 15, and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my church, for the Lord power shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. Mm -hmm. That he who blesseth himself in the earth. We're just talking about Yasharala, man. Us, uh, us, us uh, acknowledging who we are. But that's that's it on that. I got um Matthew ten and twenty nine. It says, "Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing, and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father? Nothing is sanctioned unless y'all by shem y'all shall allow it, right?" It says, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Right? So, so she, uh, hey, it's another scripture. If a brother know where it's at, where it says that, um, y'all by some y'all shall feed the birds. So, how much more are you? You got it, brother? That's the spirit. Go ahead. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 26. Behold, the fowls of the air. For they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Right, read that again. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 26. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. So, 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 so the birds don't plant and, and grow shit and gather the food up and shit? All right, go ahead. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Yet the Most High feed them. Go ahead, brother. Are ye not much better than they? Right. So how much? How much? How much better is us than birds? The Lord feeds all the animals. I'm looking for the scripture where it says that um all the beasts wait upon the Most High. Yep, yep, yep. It's right here. This is Psalms 104 and. Um, I'm gonna start at 17. Uh, I'm gonna start. Damn, damn, I'm gonna start at Psalms 104. Damn, I'm gonna start at nine. It says, Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth, which is speaking about the waters. He said, The springs into the valleys which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. It says, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests. <laughs> As for the stork, the fir trees are her house, right? So the Lord is, is doing all these for animals. But yet we are his chosen people. What's again? Can a brother find that in Sirach where the Lord, uh, he, uh, 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 out of all the cattle, he picked one lamb out of all the, uh, out of all the lands, he chose one pit. You know, brothers know what I'm talking about. Um, back in Psalms 104 and 18, it says, The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. It says, He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat. From the Most High. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together and lay down in their dens. 
Man goeth forth into his work, into his labor, until the evening. It should be another one. It, it might, it might be more here. But basically, it says all the beasts of the earth waiteth upon the Most High, man. So the Most High uh, 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 feeds all the animals and has everything going. So how much more us, right? My brother found that in Sirach. Second Edges. It might be Second Edges, Slocky, brother. Yeah, this is uh, Second Edges five, five and uh, twenty-three, and said, "O Yahweh, that bears rule of every wood of of the earth and of all the trees that thereof, thou has chosen." The, the, the one only uh, like thou has chosen the one only vine and of all the lands of the whole world thou has chosen thee one pit and of all the flowers therefore one lily and of all the depths of the sea thou has filled thee one river and, and of all the and of all the building cities thou has hallowed Zion unto thyself and of all the fowls that are created thou has Name the one dove, and of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep, and among all the multitude of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people whom thou lovest, thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Mm. Now, can you start from the top again, brother? This is, uh, from where you read it, from where you started. This is uh, Second Edges 5 and 23, and said. O Lord that bears wool, but O Lord that bears wool of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee one only vine. Mm -hmm. Which is which, which is Israel, because is uh, is uh, the scriptures tell you that uh I believe it's in Mark. I seen men as trees walking. You know, it's uh one in Judges where um the man gave the parable about the trees raining over. You know. In Genesis, they called the other uh, the other people that was there and called them trees, right? So, so uh, 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 the the vine represents Israel. Go ahead. And of all the lands of the whole world, God has chosen thee one pit, and of all the flowers there thereof one lily, and of all the depths of the sea, thou has filled thee one river. Mm-hmm. Which, which, which that's the Jordan, right? Go ahead. And of all, all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Zion unto thyself. That's right, holy Jerusalem. And of all the fowls that are created, thou has thou has named thee one dove. Mm -hmm. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitude of peoples, thou hast gotten thee one people, and unto this people. Whom thou lo lovest, thou gavest the law. Whom thou lovest, this people, whom thou lovest. You know? So, go ahead, brother, finish that. Thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Right. So, man, hey, you know, unless, the brother, any, any more scriptures? No? All right, well, it's official this time, I can, you know. Lord willing, man. Hey, we hope you brothers was uh, 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 encouraged, man. You know, um, uplifted, refreshed. You know, because uh, I know we, I know I am. I can't speak for all of us. I hope we all are. You know, I feel like we can keep going and going. You know, but now we gonna end it here, man. So hey, man, y'all by Shem Shah chose us, man. We are the uh, Lord willing. We have an opportunity to be the chosen of the chosen. You know. Matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Baba Kusha must needs it. Um, the one where Yahweh Shah said that uh, the fathers give their son bread. If they ask bread, how much a stone? We ended on that. The brother can find that for me. Baba Kusha. Because, um, like I said, man, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah we, it gave us, given us a, a chance to be the chosen of the chosen. You know? So if we're if we're continuing in this thing in faith, Abraham's faith was imputed unto him for righteousness. So hey, y'all by Shemir and we keep this faith until the end, it'd be imputed unto us as righteous. You got a scripture? Go ahead, bro. All right, go ahead. All right, Khan. This is uh Matthew seven, seven and nine. 
or what man is there of of you whom is his son as for bread will he give to start up his start son? up start up the uh, read seven read seven and seven That's crazy because I had it. It was sitting here in front of my face the whole time, bro. Go here, brother. You said seven and seven? Come on. Come on. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 7. Ask, and it shall be given. You seek, and ye shall find. Right. So it says, ask. How do you ask? By prayer. And it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Go ahead. Not. And it shall be open unto you. Right. So knock and it shall be open unto you. Keep going. For everyone that asks. For everyone that asks it does it what? Receive it. So if you ask, you're going to receive. Read. And he that seeketh findeth. Mm -hmm. So and if you seek in this knowledge, if you're asking for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, uh, understanding, and seeking after it, right? Yahweh Yahweh will give it to you liberally, as it says in James, the first chapter. Go ahead, brother. And to him that knocketh, it shall be open. Go ahead. Or what man is there of you whom if his son as for bread, will he give him a stone? Keep going. Or so, right, right, slack it. It says, or what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, will he give a stone? So to you brothers out there that got children, man, when your child come to you and say, hey, daddy, I'm hungry, you don't give his ass a rock? You know? No, you're going to feed him, right? Go ahead, brother. Or if he asks for fish, will he give you him a serpent? Right. So if he asks for some fish, will you give him a goddamn snake? Go ahead, brother. If ye then bring evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. Right. So if us then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto our children. Go ahead. How much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him right so our father which is in heaven how much more he you know to give good things unto them that ask so man hey, hey, let's ask humbly and in faith always that we endure to the end in this thing man and that we pray for the swift deliverance of the elect and the fuck man the swift fucking destruction of this wicked ass place man the elect the deliverance out of this wicked flesh you know so we ain't got to see fucking the goddamn abominations the faggots and the trannies so we ain't got to see esau bitch ass man like the brother said earlier the uh, wick wicked ass smiles on their faces man you know so let's pray to continue to stay in the good graces of Yahweh Basham Yahweh and, and, and let's strive and abound in his work. You know, let's do this work. Salaki, Salaki, Salaki. Last scripture. Don't scoff me, Yaki. Last scripture. Um, James. Can a brother get James? One and um, for, uh, James two and fourteen. James 2 and 14. What does it profit, my brother, though a man say he has faith and have no works? Can faith save him? Right. So what does it profit? If a man say he has faith and have not works, can faith can faith save him? Right? Go ahead, brother. If your brother or sister be naked and this and That's destitute the two. of daily food. Right. So if you see a brother or a sister you know what I'm saying? You see they naked or destitute of daily food. They hungry. Go ahead. And one of, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace. Be you warm and filled. Right. So, so, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace. Be you warm and filled. That's all. That's all you said. Right. Go ahead. Notwithstanding, he gives them not those things which are needful to the body. Right. So you didn't give them what was needful to the body. What does it profit? What does it profit? You know the scripture says um uh basically about uh, uh us us as different members but one body and us uh uh to the edifying of the body of itself you know i just butchered the hell out of that scripture but you know you, you brothers know what i mean go ahead brother 
Even so faith, if it has not works, it is dead being alone. Even so faith, if it have not works, it is dead being alone. Go ahead. Yeah, amen. It says, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. And that's the point. I will show you my faith by my works. So let's abound in this work, man. Let's show the let's show the world our faith, right? Let's put that light uh, uh, on the hill, man. Let's put it on the candlestick and let it show uh, show forth and shine to the whole house, as the scripture says. You know, let's abound in this work and let's continue to 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 pray for endurance, man. To pray for forgiveness. To 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 pray for the kingdom. <laughs> You know, Baba Kusha, y'all, by some y'all, you know. So, man, hey, hey, the water to all you brothers for tuning in with us at, at such a late night, you know. Uh, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles, our elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you Akim around the world who are preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity and always with charity, man. Hey, I love you, brothers, man. We love you, brothers. Uh, uh, shout out from GMS Chicago, the water for all you brothers on the comment boards for tuning in with us, man. And man, let, let, let's push this word, man. You know, hey, shalom.